Excellent. Hi, everybody. I'm here with Andre, and we're going to get ready to get on the new person that, according to my cards, it looked like she was going to pick Josh Shapiro. But mm -hmm. she picked this Waltz guy who's the same age as, as the vice president. But he said the reason he looks so great is that anybody that worked in a high school cafeteria, he had to monitor the cafeteria. He said, you'd be great too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's Mr. He's got Every... a real good sense of humor. Interesting, he's a uh, airy, so hit it, Andre. Well, okay, so we don't know yet his birth time. Hopefully someone will dig it up just like someone dug up J.D. Vance, you know, by searching records and things like that. Um, there is a possibility he might be Virgo rising because he has a bit of a, a Taurus look in, uh, and then Mercury is in Taurus, which would rule Virgo. So that's one possibility and something that, you know, is not perfect evidence, but there's this picture of his garage and this guy has everything perfectly ordered. I mean, it oh, looks like which is a typical Virgo thing where Virgo is very methodical and they like things to be clean and orderly. So possibly it's that. Uh, but as far as Aries, Aries explains his, his, um, both the connection to the military. He spent many years in the National Guard. Aries is a natural military sign. And the other thing you see with Aries is athletics, which is why he's also has been a coach. Yeah. You know? Uh, so that's, uh, and as far as, um, let me think if, if it were, oh yes, the other thing would be if he is Virgo rising, which this is, you know, don't take this to the bank at all because this would need to be confirmed. But if he is, then the Jupiter is really high up in the chart, which would be explaining why he's suddenly, you know, very prominent because he's come out of nowhere, literally. I mean, the other people are more well known. I he was just, looking at the cards and it was favoring Shapiro. Right, right, exactly. So, uh, and Shapiro is more well known. Uh, but same there was with some sort of block there. There was something that was blocking that. Well, I mean, the the people that speculate say that Welch is a safer pick from the vantage point of less controversy because Shapiro. Apparently, there was a lot of pressure from progressive Democrats against him. And even though he has said bluntly that he thinks Netanyahu is the worst president that Israel has ever had, he's still too pro-Israel for a lot of the, okay. you know, the, the more lefty. But now the thing with this guy is that the Trump team is going to immediately attack him for being too progressive. The problem is he doesn't sound progressive. He no, sounds like an everyday person. So yeah. Yeah, and, and it, there are really good links, and that probably the key link between him and Kamala is that, first of all, she's a Libra with the moon in Aries, and he's an Aries. That's an automatic connection, but also his Jupiter is right on her moon, and that, that, that creates friendly relations between people. And the other thing that I saw there is that she sees him as a very practical individual, very practical choice, uh, you know, as a VP. That's the logic that she would have I really feel she felt she could his energy was easy for her to get along with yeah yeah that's well, that's you know, they just posted a little video he did while he's uh governor of Minnesota and he's with his daughter and they're going to do this right he said we have a family tradition something old something new so the old is this and my daughter picks the new and she told him the the ride they were going to do he said okay and then we're going to get something to eat he said something some sort of meat item and she said, Dad, I'm a vegetarian. He said, oh, OK, turkey then. She said, Dad, turkey's meat. He goes, not in Minnesota, it's not. <laughs> yeah, that's, I love that's his a, sense of humor. Yeah, that's funny. That's funny. I mean, the one, the one thing that, uh, that in a way overrides the whole argument uh, and makes it clear is that Kamala, because of the Jupiter on the ascendant that I say is the one that, you know, brings her the victory. But it's also that Jupiter in her chart rules the partner's house. So she's going to pick a good partner with, you know, it doesn't well, matter whichever way, right? It works out well. because one of, of the, the first governors to put a black uh, 
Supreme Court in Minnesota, but one of the first ones. Yeah, which again, that that's the kind of thing the MAGA people will try to use oh, to tar him. Oh, they said he's fat and he's old and he's ugly. Oh my God, look at. <laughs> yeah, right, right. And he's the same age as actually. Is he a little older than her? He was born in April. So uh, she, yes, yeah. He's so, but they're months. both the same age. Yeah, they're both sixty-four, and the no, Chinese 60, system. Sixty. Or, oh, no, I'm he's sorry. Six, he's going to be sixty. He's 60 years old, but is he already 60? Hold, hold on. I, yeah, I have his look chart. it up. Look it up. Um, so. He's born in, no, he's born in April of 64. So he's the same year as Kamala. They're both 60. Kamala will turn 60 in October. He is 60 as of April. So in the Chinese system, they're both dragons. And they're both in their year because this is the year of the dragon. So awesome. whatever you want to make of that. I, what is I, uh, what is Trump? Uh, Trump, I can't remember what he is, but he's in the opposite year. So he's in the in the on the downturn. If you go by Chinese. OK, that's not a win. I can't remember what it is now. He's but, a, yeah. uh, you know, I'm a snake. You're a snake. Yeah. Well, you know who else is a snake? That famous singer. The one that wins all the awards. What's her name? The young girl. Uh, Taylor Swift. Yeah, she's. A, oh, there you go. Snake yeah. like me. A snake. Yeah. I mean, I I don't know enough. I mean, I've seen a few patterns in that sort of thing, but uh, I don't place nearly as much stock in that because once again, you're putting everybody in twelve categories and expecting everybody in that expecting everybody to be the to snake. succeed, which is which is nice. So it's not you logical. took a look at him. Anything you noticed that w would stand out? Well, the, I think one of the key things is his uh, birth Jupiter being near Kamala's moon. Both of them are very well aligned to the American moon energy. And that's important because the American moon is the way the public perceives you, you know, whether you are likely to become popular. He's already pretty popular. You know, he found a way very quickly to uh, be seen as someone interesting and, and, and so on. And uh, because they're both linked that way, I think it's a good thing. That's the the key that I that I see. But again, if, if we can come up with a time, I'll be able to see more because then I can backtrack it and look more at more clearly what has already happened in his life, you know, in prior cycles and so on. So yeah. And this month in general, I was watching. I looked at Susan Miller's, you know, horoscope thing, which is a general. But there was some days that really stand out. Do you have that too? Not necessarily on the political realm. Well, you know, the only thing I'm focused on, if I start doing too much astrology, my head will explode. I'm focusing on on the convention, right? And the convention, as an example, is very good for Kamala. It's good for this guy too, because this guy, as soon as you have planets next to someone else's planets, the full moon will affect you in the same way. It's yeah. a really good convention for both of them. That's the key thing, you know, that I'm focused on. And, and then the next real point of both concern and possible upsets, some kind of unexpected thing, that's also toward the end of the month because the Uranus station is coming right at the end of August and into early September. That period is always more uh, significant around things that happen in the world, much like late June that dual station there was the Biden debate and then Trump was nearly killed and you know, all of that. And then the the next station that happened was the era station, which brought Kamala in. So st stations are super important and awesome. that's still a little bit away. I mean, I don't know about individual days, but you know, like we had the market dropping, but now it's up again. It's back you up know. over 500 points. Yeah, it's it's uh, we'll now see where it goes. But... For half of what it lost. Yeah, exactly. Oh, now it's up 7.36. Yeah, no, it, it, uh, it, it really, those drops, sometimes they're just buying opportunities, depending on, you know, whether or not the market. Oh, also, somebody wrote me and told me Google got hit with a real bad uh, uh, United States court said that they were stealing or they're doing something that they were trying to own the Internet. And so they're going to have to pay out billions. And a lot of people were saying that's why it dropped. But I, I don't know. Mm, yeah, it's probably more related to the unemployment ticked up a little bit. There were less jobs created. And also, don't forget that markets, 
they worked together and the Japanese market dropped a ton and then that caused concern. Did you notice so, how the Japanese market did? Are they recovering or? They, they're recovering too, yeah, oh, from good. what I can tell. It's moving up. So, yeah. um, you know what's interesting? Years ago, I had a boyfriend in Edinburgh, Scotland. He was so funny. <laughs> anyway, um, when I went out there to see him three times, I didn't move to Scotland because Scotland, for him, he was a, a prison official. Uh, it's all about drinking. It's all about being in the pub drinking and singing songs. And I didn't want my kids to be raised like that. I didn't mind if it was just me, but I didn't want the boys to think this is what you do with your life. Fortunately, both my boys are totally against drinking. They've never drank alcohol. They never will. Mm -hmm. But it was $1.65 for the sterling pound in, in when I knew him, when we were together, 19, probably 1999. Now it's a dollar twenty-seven. Oh, it's dropped, yeah. Oh heck, yeah! yeah. I couldn't believe it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the that's yeah. You know, by the way, this is the whole argument that Trump is going on and on and on about how the U.S. is terrible and uh, you know always big statements like he's saying that something about hell. You know, we're all going to go straight to hell with Tim Waltz and things like that. The thing is, though things are only real, relatively speaking. I mean, when you say something is good, you say, well, compared to what? The current situation, if you look at the entire planet, the U.S. is in the lead. The U.S. is I the know. best economy. So you can talk all you like about how terrible it is, but you know, you, there's no comparison. And that includes the U.K. The U.K. over time has lost ground, you know, and, yeah. and, uh, to, to, in relative terms to the, to the U.S. So uh, yeah, that, that explains that. And We're even current, better than China. Yeah, exactly. China, Russia, absolutely. And you know, because we accept, um, um, what do you call them? Can't even, went blank, coming over the border because we're a, a mishmash of different people. Yes. Our yes. numbers, as far as uh, uh, growing, is good. Yeah. Russia doesn't allow them. Um, China doesn't allow them. is having issues with them. But anyway, Japan is zero. It's zero. It's not growing at all. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that, that's see, that's the backside of the argument that these people make about immigration. Immigration. Yes, it's true. You have to control it more. And I have a feeling and I, and I hope I'm pretty sure she will. Kamala is going to punch back with, hey, the legislation is on the table. You turned it down. So you're basically a hypocrite. You're a liar. You could have just taken that. You know, this idea, if he says, well, no, it's not good enough. I have the perfect solution. Yeah, I know, like you had a perfect solution for infrastructure, which he didn't do. We got it done. You talk oh, And for healthcare, remember? I've been exactly. I have the perfect plan. Exactly. So so it's basically all talk. And uh, yeah, uh, bottom line is that the case has to be presented. But again, you know, when people, people will do this all the time. I'll see these comments. Will go, well, you said that she's going to win. But what if, what if... Uh, there are lawsuits. What if this? What if they they refuse to certify? You know what? Yes, it's probably going to be bumpy. I don't think you'll see this election on November 5th. That's it. It's decided. It'll probably take a while because Trump never accepts anything without filing lawsuits. And even if for some reason Trump didn't make it, he's got them all well trained. They're going to do this no matter what. They're going to file lawsuits. But there is a difference between filing and winning. OK, so and if someone's chart is good, you can't bring in. Oh, well, yes, the chart is good. But what if the Supreme Court? No, there's no what if the chart is either good or it's not good. Yeah. End of story. Same back in 2020. If I said Biden was going to win, of course, it was bumpy. Look, look how bumpy it was. We had an insurrection before it all settled down. But eventually it settles down, right? That's the right. point. You can't bring in some exception and say, well, the chart says it's good, but because, you know, there are a lot of crazy people in this country and crazy judges. No, then that then you're saying some other method works. So no, you know, right. it exactly. holds. Yeah. Did, the have, by the way, have you had a chance to take a look at Thomas since the DOJ took on his case about accepting gifts illegally? No, Thomas, Thomas, I just know that my feeling for Thomas is that the next year and the year after, you've been saying when, 25 when things right. get really complicated. Yeah, it's the same way why these cycles are no good for Putin, where the planets are going. But that takes a while, you know, people know. are really impatient. And right now, there's no mechanism for doing anything to the Supreme Court. You can talk a lot and make noise, but 
you can't do anything. They just Until refuse. Until we get in there with more people. Yeah, it's, it's just something that takes longer. And uh, I, one thing that uh, I sort of knew but didn't know as clearly is that uh, we've had in the past periods when the Supreme Court became a real problem. And it was overcome by voting, right? So here Really? We are now, can you yeah. give me an example? Well, I, someone mentioned, I think it was the Scott Dredd, or the, there was some case in the past. I got to research a little more. I can't tell you 100%. I know that the explanation was it got really bad, and in order to push back, it, it needed people voting in the right direction, you know, to bring it around. Much like, for instance... In Congress and Senate. Exactly. Like, much like how in the years following the Civil War, what happened was that the, the U.S. voted in really progressive back then when Republicans were the progressive ones, right? And so right. then over a period of a decade or more, they held the line on this insanity that the, you know, the southern states wanted to, they wanted to build a slave empire, literally, right? And they're, they're kind of back to this again in a way because that's the way Trump talks. He's constantly talking. I mean, if people thought he, he's not really a racist, really? So he goes right into a, into a meeting and starts talking. She's not Indian. She's black. She's this, you know. I think it's pretty obvious that if your father was Jamaican, then you're black. I mean, what what's complicated about that? Right. You know, exactly. it's it's just totally true. Well, like, you he, saw how vehemently he hated Obama. He just hates black. Uh, That's all there is to it. Yeah, and his yeah. daddy was arrested marching for the KKK. So he, oh yeah, uh, and they got hit by the by New York for. Uh, being prejudiced against anyone but whites to rent their places. So, no, and I mean the thing with him is that the one thing you know about this this guy, the you know the orange degenerate, is that when things start to get rough, he amps up the insanity and starts to self destruct because this thing he's doing in Georgia makes zero sense. Why are you attacking a popular governor and his wife? You know, what you're doing doing that is you're upsetting the women in the suburbs who are going to vote against you again. You know, why are you doing that? He it's just bad. never learns. He did this back in, he put opponents against Kemp. Kemp beat the guy, no problem. He He's responsible for the loss of the Senate. That win with uh, when Warnock and Ossoff won was because Trump, instead of, you know, keeping his mouth shut, kept making noise and then less people voted in that election and then those two got in. So he's just really self-destructive. I just That's remember that one time that he wanted certain people. It might have been when he was in midterm and he wanted certain people. He yes. was behind. And remember, he lost every one of them but one. And he yeah. kept going on about the one like that was the focus. No, it wasn't. The focus is you lost, sucker. No, you know, the thing with, thing with Trump, too, is that, remember we said this in a prior talk, is he's a congruent liar. No matter what happens... He will always tell you his version of what happened, and his version is made up. It's fraudulent. It's just he pulls it out of you know where. He just take, with the, the the commission that had the uh, uh, the three black women. He said, "Yeah, they're uh, they're letting babies be born, and then they're killing them." Yeah. And yeah. like we're all supposed to sit there and believe that. Yeah, no, you know, this is the comeback now. Why people say, "Well, that's just really weird." He's just a weird man. Who would say something? Well, that's like that? his tip. Uh, Walsh Who would said, say something like, he yeah. said they're weird and they ran with it. They ran yeah. with weird thing because he because, is. Well, they are both of them. I mean, the other guy is weird too. The things he says are plain weird. They are, they are. So now they're now they're tagged, and you know the thing with Trump. You know the people that speculate about about uh, JD Vance leaving the ticket. You can almost guarantee that the way to make Trump do something is to tell him that what he did was stupid because then he'll have to, you know, reinforce. The pick, right? The, the right. last thing he's going to do is ever, ever try to do the what, what is being suggested to him. It, it's a guarantee, you know. Right. So that's where the odds of Vance leaving are low. However, let's keep in mind though that there is a lot of Uranus floating around this year. Yeah, Uranus that. has that quality of it to shock you and. You suddenly go, wow, what the heck was yeah, that? Yeah, we're, we're in for some surprises. Yeah, some surprises. So that's possible, although there's also Trump himself and his health and his viability, you know. But I think it's ironic and funny that now the message from the Democrats is that they've got a guy that's too old and cognitively declining. <laughs> you know, that, that's the other thing. Trump is a genius at always arranging his own karma. 
right? Because, I mean, think about it. He used to say, oh, Hillary, the documents, and then he steals the documents and he gets charged. It's like there's no end to it. He oh, always and does they, the thing. And they use it of her, for her own phone. They made such a big stink and come to find out all of them use their own phones. Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah, yeah. But that's the thing. I mean, he, he lives, Trump lives uh, totally from the message. But that's pretty tough. I mean, you can do it for a while and, you know, now it's an old story and he just keeps well, you repeating. Know that, what's his name? Steve Gagorkin or whatever on MSNBC. The one that uh, we're Kornacki. 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 Yeah. He's going up there with the board and showing how close Trump won this and that. But he's basing it back in 2020. This is a horse of a different color. This is a horse of a different color. Well, yeah, although, I mean, I don't know if you see, I, I, I don't know that I can say, at least not yet, I, I, I don't can't say with any confidence, though, that uh, that she would win in a big, big way. That I'm not sure about, you know. I, I'm I feel just, she's going to win pretty large, in the, especially the blue states. Well, yeah, the blue states, sure, but the blue states, you know, they don't get you the win. Last time, all you needed, I mean, there were a hundred and something like, uh, 100 and almost 160 million votes were cast and the Trump uh, or uh, Biden won that election all that needed to happen would be 25,000 people changing their vote the other way and but now it, it would have to be in some pretty unusual patterns because it, it would have to be split up among Arizona Georgia because you know Arizona and Georgia were 10,000 votes among millions. So they were tight. Wisconsin yeah. was super tight too. Yeah. Uh, even Pennsylvania was not that big a win. It was about 80,000 votes. Don't you feel that she will, it's not this, the same thing, but I think she'll kind of take on the the Obama trail. You mean the- uh, She might win as big as Obama did. Mm, do you think? Do you feel that? No, I, that's I, not, that's I, what I'm feeling. I would be amazed. And it's not going to be black, I'm just saying. She's fresh. She's someone that people are excited about. And she no, well, that's true. with even better experience than Obama had. That, that's true. It's just that in, in the current situation, the sides are more entrenched than they were. I mean, you know, Obama won Indiana. That's crazy. They never win Indiana. He, and he didn't win it in the second term. He only won it in the first term. So to get 350 electoral votes like he did, you need to really take a whole bunch of places now, mind you, if on election night you see Florida going blue, then it's over. Then it's I was definitely going to say, over. I, I yeah, think like that's Florida's true. Florida's going to go blue. That's true. And the, and the big the big topic continues to be. I mean, they can they can cry all they like about progressive this, liberal that. Just talk about women's issues. Keep focusing them on. You're trying to take away women's rights. That's the key issue, right? And I bet you anything they'll both focus a lot on that. You know oh I mean? yeah, and then. Um... He's totally for women's rights. Uh, Wall says he's like he's he's definitely, but again, he's a gun owner. He he believes in background checks. Now he was part of the George Floyd. They're trying to hit him on the George Floyd thing, but I think he did the best he could. It was a terrible situation. I'll have to read up on it more. Well, what are, what are they hitting them with? What exactly? I don't is the know. Problem? He didn't move fast enough or something. I don't know. But listen, I think he he cut through that that prejudice in the Minneapolis uh, police department. They were really, uh, you know, bad. I, we're going to have to, you know, the thing we'll is, is that, and also the vetting, you know, you, you have, they have to vet pretty quickly, but I'm quite sure they would have looked at uh, factors like that, right? If uh, whenever you're looking, okay, am I going to pick this guy? Is you're gonna that say what this. they're going to pick? Yeah, this, are they yeah which him? like, I mean, what is worse that or with Shapir, they would have attacked about, Gaza and Israel and this kind of thing. Everybody has. But then look at the guy that the Republican. He's a convict. He's a he's out on bail. He's a, a rapist. What what is the deal here? Boy, they'll tend to point that out. But look at the man that's running. Well, the deal is that I I hope and it's very possible. See that they'll bring it in. The reason is this: in Trump's chart, you see, starting right around now, all the way to late September this thing, the black moon, which is the really shadowy, dark type of energies moving in, right? So part of that is he himself is going to get dirtier and dirtier. That's not big news because that's just the way he is. But part of it is being heavily challenged on your 
dirt than your shadow. His main shadow is that he's a criminal. So don't be surprised if the de democratic message starts to be he's a criminal and a felon and a you know basically a sexual molester at minimum. And a judge said that he's also a rapist. You keep repeating that because that's true. It's Everybody true. knows that. They see it in the news, right? And even just the notion that okay, you're putting it out there. Obviously, his people they don't care. But it's that group, you're looking at that sliver, those votes that really count, if they keep hearing, oh yeah, that guy's the guy that you know, he was convicted and you know, he even said, he said that men have a right to do this. It's always been true that men assault women, yeah. you know, since yeah. the, you know, the important men get to do this. That's the thing, I would, I would play that in ads constantly to remind people that this is his attitude, right? And yeah. in a year when women are really, really uh, bothered by what's going on, it's not a good thing. You know, because no, and I, it could even be some women who are just shutting up and not talking about them who have uh, MAGA husbands. And then when they go in the booth, they're going to vote for Biden. I mean, yeah, well, uh, Harris, sorry. I mean, look, I, this is the other thing, right? That when I think of the order of, of why I say something, the top, the very, very top is that Trump's chart is not a winner. Start there. All right. Then that Kamala's chart is a very good chart. But then someone will say, well, what if, what if Trump, something happens and then they, they put in Nikki Haley? Well, I'll look at that when it comes up. But Nikki Haley's chart is not better than Kamala Harris's right, chart. Right. And Nikki Haley's position is not better than hers because Nikki Haley has to defend the indefensible. And right. she can't. She's got to say, well, I'm for it. I'm against it. I would leave this and that. It's oh, not good enough. It's not good enough. I mean, it, the, the bottom line is, is that if you don't vote Democratic, you basically stop the, tra the train in its tracks and women will be stuck for years, you know, still with nothing being done about their rights. And so even Nikki Haley, and by the way, Nikki Haley now is a total hypocrite. She was against him. She's for him, you know, whatever. And she so, was trying to tell her people they couldn't be for, uh, was it Harris? Was it Biden or Harris? One of the, she said her people couldn't do that. She was going to sue them. You can't do that. Yeah, no, you can't. I mean, in public oh. life, yeah. Uh, RFK Jr. Well, remember that Remember that I said to you? Remember I said to you many times, wait for the middle of the year in 24, because yes. we, we were talking about this in 23. And I told you, once Jupiter gets out of Taurus, this guy's energy is going to go down. That, now, again, now, now talk about weird. This man is extremely weird. I mean, the things that he does, I mean, picking up a bear, then putting put the bear in the park, trying to confuse the police. I mean, this guy's an outlaw. I'm not alone. You but said guess what the police said. The bear didn't die from getting hit by a car. It died from stab wounds. Well, you know, and bottom it was line probably is, him. He was he's hiding something. But the whole thing is weird. It's just so strange. I you know, watched what, a girl hit the bear and then she took off a young girl. How did you even see her? It was at night. You know, in one minute he's telling you he's got a, a, a you know, a worm in his brain. And now now this. Where and, oh and by the way he was he broke the news because it was going to come out in a in a magazine article shortly so that's what they do when they know it's going to come out they try to bring it out first and he's talking with Roseanne I mean these people are just really strange I'm sorry you know the way they behave is strange as can be and I don't see how well where is he now one percent he's not even oh, on all the states he's dropping. no he's dropped and and that it was the Jupiter while Jupiter was in in Taurus, it was supporting him, but once it left the sign, that you know that basically pretty much disappeared. Even Roseanne was looking at him like he was a whack job. Did you see her with her cup of coffee? She's well, you know. By the way, like one person I heard talking about this, and the person said, you know, like this thing happened when he was sixty years old. He goes, you know, this, this kind of story about going to Central Park and putting a bear. That's something a college person would do. But, you know, by the time you're 60, you, you're supposed to have more common sense. And how do you do something like this and think that in any he way... He did it, something with the bear. He stabbed it or he thought he was... He, he went cray-cray. The he whole story... Rooms or something. The whole story is the opposite of someone who wants to progress in public life. I'm sorry. You know, don't be associated with this kind of stuff because it makes you look strange and, you know, weird and and complicated in a way that is not helpful, you know? No, I think he's, I think his parents, his parents, his family worries about him. I think he's really out to lunch. They have a hard time making him keep his shoes on. And it's just, if well, he was in the White House, he would come out stark naked, mark my words. Well, the, the odds of him now being in the White House, the only thing is that 
that there was a uh, something I heard where he might uh, abandon the a campaign and endorse Trump, maybe. But if he does that, he kind of gives it gives it away too. You know that that he's he's on the right. I don't know. I mean, it's just a bad scene. I, I don't think I would worry about this guy quite I, frankly. Oh, he, no. I remember you talking about him, kind of like he was a nothing burger. Yeah, that's what it turned out to be. Yeah, even though. And I've always said he wasn't hurting Biden at the time. He was hurting Trump. Yeah, no, it's true. It's, it's true because his ideas, the thing about anti-vax, there are there is anti-vax on the Democratic side, but not as much as on the on the uh, Republican side, right? Because right. when you start talking like that then you're talking about vaccines in schools and, you know, things that keep society in order so that you won't get outbreaks and whatnot. And so it's just out of touch. You know, these people are living in like pre-vaccine is pre-1930s. It's really crazy the way to talk about, you know, let's go back to what? What exactly do you want to go back to? To polio? How does this work? Yeah. You, know? you don't think uh, President Roosevelt would have loved to have had the polio vaccine? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So... Yeah. So another little piece of good news, because this gentleman that she picked for the VP from Minnesota, the attorney, the uh, lieutenant governor from Minnesota is a Native American woman. She oh. will now be the governor of Minnesota. That's cool. Yeah. First yeah, that's... Native American governor. That's good. Yeah. That that's the thing. You see the this whole pattern is so interesting because things keep happening that are the worst insult to the MAGA movement, right? Whenever they see a woman and if she's not, you know, uh, I guess what, Anglo-Saxon white or something from Scotland or England, then immediately yeah. it's a problem. And yet there is someone getting elevated. Then you have Kamala. Kamala is the worst outcome for them because if they can't stand Joe, they really can't stand her. The idea that is, a woman is going to lead the country is just so insulting to them. Right? Is that sort of a Uranus thing that happened? That shock? No, the the, the I think with the for Trump, the, the Uranus is the shock to the system. But the to me, the women rising is Eris because you know whenever you see in astrology that it's the meaningful coincidence. Like you kind of go, okay, why is it happening now? Right on the station, right there, July. Boom, that's when she comes on the scene and in a place that is really bad for Trump. That's when I realized <laughs> that's what it is. This guy is now facing the impossible obstacle, right, in his own chart. And so then, and on separately, separately in the U.S. chart, that planet is agitating a lot, right? It's, it's, it's agitating to be, to be taken into account. So, yes, it signals, it signals the election of a woman as well. Yes. So all of that, I mean, it... It all coalesces, right? Right. You know, you try to do, look at as many factors as possible, but you do it in order by considering, okay, what's the top concern? And the top concern is Trump's chart being the the, the chart of a loser. You know, even yeah. though I know there are astrologers that claim it's a winning chart. Uh, from what I hear in my channel, especially Vedic astrologers seem to believe that you know he's going to win. Well, that's what they were saying back in 2022. That's true. Yeah, I know. So. It's true. Well, my friend, this was great. Yeah. Uh, Any as usual, news that you have? You do have a membership, which, by the way, I highly recommend. Uh, yeah, I, I have a membership, and uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I, I continue to do the the uh, the same thing as before. I mean, nothing has really changed all that. And you're much. still taking clients, right? Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. That, that if you want to book a reading, just go to my. Uh, my channel you can see there there's a link you know, right on to, the top i noticed that yeah you can go there and uh yeah it so says you'll laugh you'll cry you'll kiss kiss your 600 bucks goodbye <laughs> no <laughs> he doesn't charge that much you guys i'm just teasing. no 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 okay yeah. all right well we'll talk soon because uh i there, this is going to be you know even you said earlier about august and while i'm not focused so much on individual days it is a very active month around constant, you know, influx of news and, and as we move toward the convention. So I'm pretty sure well before that convention, there'll be some, some more interesting things to talk about you okay. know, in the next uh, week or so. I don't so. know. A lot of people don't even see Trump on the ticket, but right now I'm still seeing him. But I hope they're right. <laughs> 
Yeah, I, I, uh, I, in the video I did yesterday, I said that even though there are great pressures in his chart, I still think the odds are better than even that he'll be there. Well, as long but... as he has breath, because he thinks that's his exit out of all this. Trouble. Oh yeah, for, for sure. It would, it would take something really monumental. Like if he had been injured badly, that would have done it, but it could be something else because there are definite pressures there. There's no question. And including that the Uranus energy in his chart is, is very dicey. You know, it's set up to shock him in some way, which by the way, that's the other thing we can cover soon. Maybe we can leave this for our next discussion, which is, is he going to get sentenced in September? Because those dates are up in the air. And the little look that I, the, I just took a quick look, neither the, because it's supposed to be September 6th, he would say what, whether he's going to sentence him or not. September 18th is the sentencing date. Neither of those looks good for him. So, you know, now, yeah, is, that, is that enough? I don't know, but it makes me be a little suspicious, right? It's just and that the Supreme Court just said, eh, we're not going to help you. He said, they can't, they can't convict me. I'm in, uh, running for president and the Supreme Court just turned him down. What do you mean? What, what, what are you referring he, he to He tried now? his petition to Supreme Court. Oh, yes, yes. No, you're they talking, said, no. no. No, that they wouldn't even get involved. Yeah, it's yeah. A, it's it's kind of a bit choppy. Now, the only reason I don't say that with total confidence is that is that I don't know enough about Marchand. If I could find this his chart, get a little more information, because he might try to play it safe and he might decide to extend it past the or election. Say, right? Wait till after the election. Right, but on the other hand, on, you know, and this is really important. Trump's chart. I I've continued to say this throughout. You know, minus the fact that <clears throat> he got a bit of you know some breaks there, it's not in good shape. So getting bad news is just par par for the course. You know, finding yourself on the wrong side of something, that would be really bad. If he's sentenced in September, I don't care what anyone says about how no nothing matters. No, yes it does because that will move some people. You just need that group you know in the middle that hasn't made up their mind yet. That's the key, right? All right, my friend. So All right. let's keep in touch. We got a lot of progress going on here. All right. We'll talk soon. All right. Bye, everyone.